Winter Refresh has just been announced and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about what exactly is going to happen during this promo, looking at the cards that we do have on this loading screen, the player icon moments that have been revealed and also the card on the right hand side, what does it actually mean, are these going to be replacing one to watch cards and talking about all of your questions. So just before we get into it, if you are new here, make sure that you do subscribe, we're going to make lots more videos just like this one whenever a new loading screen does come out. I'm going to be making a video explaining it, looking at any of the clues, decoding anything that has been teased by EA Sports and also showing how we can actually prepare for this promo. Is it going to affect the market? Are there any investments that we can make? So definitely make sure that you are subscribed so you do not miss any of those future videos. So getting straight into this one now, Winter Ratings Refresh has been confirmed for Friday the 14th of February starting at 6pm UK time and that is what we were expecting along with a lot more content that EA Sports have not really spoken about too much that we can see from this loading screen some few hints what is actually going to be coming so we can see they tweeted in this image where we can see five cards confirmed first of all it was just very brief with the blank cards and then later on they did actually include those of course hints on the left and right for the nation and kind of like the stats and the three middle cards are actually moments Maradona 99 rated which is absolutely insane 96 Cruyff and R 997 rated so they have given more than a one plus rating which must mean esports are really trying to sell packs here and there is always that debate which does come up when these sort of cards are released the lack of accessibility and also everyone pretty much does actually want icon sbcs to return if you guys do want them back definitely comment down below we can start a conversation about what everyone does think about them so also now looking at the other cards on the left there is a milestone objectives card which is strange for ea to actually include it because there's not a lot of hype surrounded around these cards at all but it could actually be the Politano upgrade he did recently transfer over to Napoli so it does make sense that his new badge is there and also does have that pace upgrade 2 plus from his previous card so it does make sense can definitely be him but there's not much hype around him at all not too many people did that objective in the first place so I don't really see why eSports are bringing it up I guess just because they did mention that there's an upgrade opportunity they do kind of have to do it but I don't get why they're putting on the loading screen stuff like that but anyways looking at now the card on the right a new card design of course and it is actually the background of that card is very similar to the player moments card design so it has to be something unique this one for winter refresh we do see the winter logo at the top of the card so it is most likely to do something with these upgrades that we do have and the actual player for this card that is representing could actually be Florenzi that does actually make sense recently transferred as well so this card design what exactly does it mean everyone is talking about all of the different possibilities some people are saying it could actually be one to watch cards but why would EA Sports change the design that's just inconsistent and it doesn't make sense at all there's already a one to watch card design so it doesn't really add up it doesn't really hint towards them being ones to watch cards in another card design so I do actually have my own idea for this I do actually think they're going to be something like boosts similar to future stars for new transfer players or players that have actually got winter upgrades because actually EA Sports have made a new rule never done before which I actually don't really like too much there's only going to be 50 players getting an upgrade they'd actually say only the top 50 players from around the world who have made the biggest improvement and they do qualify the biggest improvement as a plus three overall or higher will receive an upgrade so this does actually leave out disqualifiers Lewandowski and Mane so no upgrades for them those are just some examples there's many more players as well but this is actually just purely done to actually ruin investors a lot of them have been crashing in price because a lot of people have seen this but on the same time I do actually think some people did actually miss this because it is quite easy to miss EA Sports didn't really make it clear especially the way they have worded it so in my opinion because there are many players who are actually getting these upgrades that don't have a special card for example Soinich from Leicester he could actually get maybe a boosted card to actually make him better something like that and I do think it could actually be mixed for actually new transfer players and also actually new players coming into the game we do have actually have Ansu Fati, Ribery, Honda and a few other cards as well imagine if we got Ansu Fati in this new card design in this winter refresh and it is actually a boosted card very similar to the future stars concept which is very popular I think EA Sports might be trying to replicate it I really have a strong feeling against it being ones to watch I really don't see why EA Sports would do it again just with another card design unless they do add another special edge to it like they did do 
do with headliners, something like that. We are going to see exactly what EA Sports do have planned. Hopefully, it is going to be something good so that we can actually do weekly objectives, SBCs to get these cards because majority of us aren't really going to be able to get those player moments. They're going to be very unattainable and it is very true. The majority of FIFA players do need something else to do. Meanwhile, whilst those very few people are going to be buying those cards for millions and millions of coins, let me know down in the comments below what you are most excited about and what you actually think about EA Sports only giving out 50 upgrades from what we can actually see from what they have given us. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.